Hey everybody, it's Kathy, Crowder's Mountain, North Carolina. I hope y'all ready to paint a fox today. Now, I had this pattern before, and if you think about, uh, it was video number 50, and I did uh, like tools and tips and techniques and things like that, paint. It was just like a more of an info kind of a video than anything. But I didn't show you how to draw that fox. So today I'm going to show you how to draw the fox and make your pattern. And I'll also show you what I did for the background. But I wanted to tell you uh, about this. These two sections here, that color's kind of gnawing at me. I'm just, I'm just not sure that's the right color. So... You remember me telling y'all about that? Um, it's a Facebook group called uh, Barn Quilts International. Well, I I put this picture on that Barn Quilts International, so some of you may have already seen it. And I asked for suggestions about these two blocks. Well, uh, a lot of people liked it. They said, leave it alone. Don't mess with it. And then others was like, well, you could put a little bit different shade, it, but it's fine the way it is. But um, one person made a comment that I'm thinking maybe that's what's bothering me too. You see this gray section here? It's chopped. It's not, um, it's just not connected this and this one so that the person that made the comment said maybe this gray should be that blue and then this gray should be whatever color i end up putting here so you see what it would do it would make that look more connected and i'm thinking maybe that's what's bothering me as well so Anyway, y'all stay tuned to the end of the video, and I'll show you what I did. But let's get started on the pattern for you. Okay, so y'all y'all know what I'm doing. Uh, if you're new, I draw my pattern for you guys on this flip chart paper. Now, that's the front side of it. It's got the grid. So, if you were, you could use that. But for you guys, I want to show you how to draw a grid and I use a blank sheet of paper because that's what your board's going to look like. So all I'm going to do, this particular one has 10 blocks, 12, 12 blocks. So I'm going to draw and just make a tick mark at every two inches. If you've never drawn a grid before, that that's how you do it. You just find out how many blocks you have to have and mark them off. So I've marked every two inches, and I'm going to do that all the way around. And then I'm going to connect the tick marks. So I'll speed this part up so that the video won't take so long. Okay, so we're going to draw our pattern. Now, I went around and made my tick marks every two inches. So now all we have to do is connect those tick marks. But the first, the first two inches, all the way around, is going to be our border. So I'm not going to draw all the way out to the end of that. Uh, just because it'll be easier for me to show you that pattern. If I've got the 10 blocks in the middle where the pattern's going to be. Remember I said it was going to be 12 blocks. Well, two of the blocks on each side, two inches on each side, is going to be our border. So we're not going to draw that. We're not going to go all the way to the edge. 
So I'm just going to box it in like this. Won't that be a lot easier if I if I show you within this box? It won't get near as confusing when I'm counting off the blocks and showing you where to make the marks. So, all right. So I'm gonna I'm just gonna connect my tick marks and I'll be right back. Okay, here is our 10 blocks that we're going to be working with. We've got our border already outlined. So I'm going to draw a pattern in this blue, hoping you can see it better. All right. So I was trying to think of the best way to start doing this, and I really believe... I'm going to use just a regular ruler. Let me find one that's not written all over. I've got ink all over about all of them. All right, here's one. You can see that better. <laughs> all right, I think we should start at the top. Let's just start at the top. You know how I always do the bottom start at the bottom and go row by row but i think we need to start at the top on this one so up here at the very top i got you zeroed in enough um, we're going to count down one and go over one so we're right here at the second block second row and we're just going to start drawing his ear so that was part of the grid but it's also part of the pattern so we're going to go over and draw a diagonal line we're going to go a straight line on that block the third block and then on the fourth block we're going to go up and down. And that's part of his ear. All right, now let's draw, let's keep going. We're going, we're drawing his face. All right, third row down. We're going from left, top left to bottom right. And we're gonna skip this one and go over here to the fourth one and go from the bottom left to the top right. All right, then we need to draw two blocks down. And we're going to over here. We, this was the second one, second block third row we drew two down now let's go back here the third row second block we're going to draw two down and we're going to go over and go back up and over here we're going to draw two down Is that showing up good enough for you? All right. So we're starting to make his face. So let's go back here. Where we went down two. So we're still on that fourth row, second block to the left. And we're going to draw down to here so one two and over one so from the top corner 
on that second block to the top corner or the bottom one the bottom right hand corner on your sixth row and then we're going to go over one and then back up you see that So that, so that y'all can see it a little bit better. I'll go ahead and put his eyes in there. All right, so you see this block here. That's the second block, third row down. Go down one. And it, at, the cor at the corner of this grid mark here, there's your block. So right in that right hand corner we're going to draw a one inch square so go to the bottom of that make your tick mark there go over from the bottom and draw your tick mark and then from that tick mark go up one so it's one inch That's going to be his eye. Alright, so let's do that again. One inch. One inch. And see, so if you're doing that on grid paper, and you've already got one inch marks, like I can see this blue behind here. But I don't know if you can. Well, we just went second row, bottom right hand corner, drew a inch square, skipped one, and on the fourth block, fourth row down, we drew a block in the left hand corner. So that's going to be his eyes. All right. So that so here's the two eyes. We're going to go down, and right in the center of this one, we're going to draw another block. So find the center and just measure out a half inch so you can get it one inch wide. Measure it up an inch. You see there? Now that might help us keep stay focused on where we are. <laughs> All right, so let's go back to this block. We went over and then we went back up. Went from right to left. All right, now on this block we need to go left bottom to the right top, and that finished his face. So let's start drawing his body here and then his tail. So this is what you just drew right here. That's what you just drew. Just have. What did I do with it? Right here. <laughs> that thing stuck to the bottom of that barn quilt. I just heard it jiggle or something, and I looked behind it, and there it was. 
Lord, oh, have mercy. If it's not nailed down, I'm going to lose it. Okay, so here we go. Let's go one, two, three, four, five, and go over. Let me make sure. Four. One, two, three, four. And go over. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So at the top right of that fourth one, we're going to draw a line down from the fourth one and go across the fifth one. One, two, three, four, five. All right, then we're going all the way across three more blocks. And we're going down one. See that? Okay. So we could draw the biggest part of the tail right now. And that, that won't be that hard. Okay. So focus on this mark right here. The one we just got through drawing. And we're going to go up. here. So there's the one we just got through. Count up. That's on the right hand side. One, two, three. And on the left hand side of that block at the top. That's where we're going to draw our line. So bottom right up to the top left. One, two, three. And then this is going to be part of the tail. This will be the white part here. Those two blocks and this block. So that's going to be white. Then we're going to go down, down one. All right, now we'll come back to that in a minute. We have to, we have to finish drawing his body, his legs, to get to that part for it to even out. All right, so making sure you can see him. All right, let's go back here. This is his neck, right here. So we need to extend this line out one. And so we're on from the bottom, one, two, three, four. We're on the fourth row up. Second block over. We're going from the left to the top right. And then we're going down on that second block, third row, and then back up. That's gonna be part of that's gonna be his little foot right there. Alright, now we're gonna go over two more. From the top of that one. So we we're on that third row at the very top of three and four. We drew two lines. All right, now, where we ended up there, we're going to draw across these lines, across these blocks. So you're going to end up at the second row, third block, bottom left. that and then we're just going to go to the to the right side of that block and draw across two more blocks so one two three four fifth block top right one two three bottom left 
of the fourth block and, and drew up here. So we're going to go up over one and down one. So that was one, two, three, four, five. On the sixth block, fourth row up, we went up, over, and down. All right, but we also need to draw our patterns here because that's going to be this white stomach. See that? White stomach. This is what we're drawing now is his legs. And see, we're going to connect this to the top up there where we stopped. All right. So we've got his stomach. And now we need to go down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. On the seventh one. The right hand side, that grid is part of your pattern. And so back up here at the top of seven, we want to draw down across these two lines, up blocks, across these two blocks. And we're going to go over. And then we're going to go up to making sure now okay this will be easier all right one two three four five six seven on the eighth block, left, left side bottom, we're going to draw up two more, just like we had with those. But this time, we didn't go into the next row. We stayed in that same row. Just remember that. Where we crossed over into two rows here, we're staying in that same row right here. That'll trick you up. All right, so we just, let's go back to that bottom right of one, two, three, four, five, six. And we're just going to connect it with here. See that? All right, then, we almost got his feet made. So it's the this one, that's the eighth block, bottom right. We need to go up, stay in that same row. We need to go up to about three quarters of the way up on the next row. Okay. No, 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 no. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The bottom of the eighth, right. Then on the ninth row, ninth row here, four up. We're going to make a tick mark about three quarters of the way up. And that's where we're going to connect that last part of the last leg. And now, let's go back up here to this tail. These was white. Here's part of his tail. And we ended right here, right? Well, now we're going to take, take our ruler and just connect those two dots. All right, now let's, let's finish out the inside of him like um, I keep referring to this pattern here that was the first one that I did. You probably see it in the video, but that's what I'm going by. 
and it was drawn for a one inch board. All right, so now, uh, I'll tell you what, let me get another color to mark that. Some place, y'all. What does it have to do with the purple or magenta? Uh, all right, this, this one, that's where his tail stops. All right, we need his, his body. That's what I'm trying to tell you. See his body here, here, this one's darker. So that's what I'm drawing out now. So you'll you'll have that. So his hind quarters here. Let's <laughs> get that done. All right, go to this block. You see where we drew down, and then over one. So we're going to draw. So that would be the. One, two, three, four, five, sixth row. One, two, three, four. So six up over four from the right. That's where you'd make that line. And then that part of your grid is part of the pattern. This one is going to be that same color. So you see it here. Blocked it off. Now we're just going to connect this one to that one. We just went across that. <coughs> so this is all going to be that darker color, and so is this tail. All right, now on this, on his foot here, this part here is going to be that same dark color, and this is going to be black. Because that's going to be his hoof. This section right there. Alright, now this part of his leg is also going to be that dark color. So we'll just go ahead and mark that out. See, this whole section is going to be that dark color. And then that's going to be his black hoof. So over here, for these other two feet, I just put my ruler down and made a tick mark it one inch there, one inch here, one inch on that side, and one inch on that side. And I just connected them together. And then that's going to be black. So that's his little feet. And there you have it. There you have your fox. So, you know how I do a lot of times I'll, uh, I'll color it in. But I'm just going to color in the dark spaces that I showed you. And I, you know, I'm not doing that like, like I'm an artist or nothing. I'm just showing you where to put your dark colors. Now you should y'all sit here watching me color perfectly. Well, y'all never see that. I'll probably never get it done perfect. Y'all be here for the rest of your life and mine too. <laughs> So anyway, that's the dark sections right there. These three blocks. See that? See the dark sections? Here, here, and here. And those three blocks is the white of his tail. You see there? So what I want you to do 
is take a screenshot of that. Take that screenshot. And now take a screenshot of this one so you can have something to compare it to. And then I'm going to show you how I did these lines. And they're really, um, the only thing that you want to do is just make sure your sections look like they're connected together and it's not too choppy. Like on that box, I kind of made the, the what I call the beams kind of going down toward the fox so that he's still the primary focus of the barn quilt. Because that's what we're doing when drawing a fox. We're just jazzing it up a little bit. Alright, so. From. This. Okay, the top. What I did. Just, just simply. Drew a line. Let me find another color. So y'all could see better. You can see this green. <laughs> all right. So all I did was just drew a line from that corner through here. And then I made another section over here at the third block. And I just went down to this section. So I just put my ruler from the third block over here. So third block to top and then right here at the top of his back. And I just drew another line. So really you're just kind of creating what you want. See that connected that together. So, when I was saying earlier about one of the suggestions was I colored in this different than this. And I think I'm going to paint over that. And I'll show you at the end when I get finished. But anyway, so we've got that. And then I just went up one. And went over here and drew that one up. So I had another section. I came to the top here, which is the third row, one, two, three, four, on the fifth one here. And I drew over to the fourth block, or third block, third block. That. And then, from here, I just drew to the corner. So skip, skip the white tail. Skip the white part of the tail there. So you see what I'm doing. It's not really a whole lot of rhyme or reason. You just you just want to give it some background, some kind of a pizzazz that little fox up. But you don't have to. You can just a plain background gonna be fine. You can put half of it green, half of it blue. You don't have to make the different colors if you don't want to. But I'm just showing you what I did. So I went uh Halfway up here and lined it up with that. Did 
So I lined it up with that and just drew a line there. And that's where that block stops, right here. And then from here, I just went down Right here's his face. So right at middle ways. Middle ways that block, I just made another mark. So I hope I'm not confusing you too much by what I'm doing. But you see, I'm just making these lines here. And they don't have to be in any kind of particular order except for to try to keep your sections together. All right, so we've got all this. Now come down here below his little tail right here. And I made a line here. There, and that got it. If I can show you now on this one. See, there's the gray. Here's the white. There's, this, there's the fox. Over here, this is going to be light gray. That's dark gray. This is the light green. And this is the medium green. And that's the bottom. See? See, that's that gray. This is the medium green goes all the way up into the top here right up in here and then no that's the light green I mean and then this is the medium green down here and the darker green here I hope that makes sense I debated on whether to show y'all that or not but you know, y'all been with me a while now. And I think y'all understand what I'm trying to say. Let's get you back up here. We can take a better screenshot. All right. I'll take the screenshot here. And just remember, you can make your lines wherever you want to. I just thought it looked better having three shades of green. I broke it up between the sky and the ground with my gray and then well with the gray up here and then this is sort of represents the sky and I am going to take the advice that I was given I'm going to change these two colors but I am going to I'm going to make this and this the same because it just looks broken. And then I'm going to make this a part of that. And just get rid of this gray right here all together. I'll show you in just a little while. Okay, y'all. I changed it. I, I just, there were parts of it that I just didn't like. The colors, I mean. I like the pattern. But the colors... You, you know, I had two different colors here. And you'll notice that now this is, and I had a different color here, had gray. So now all this is one section. And the lighter blue that I had, the tail didn't, didn't stand out enough. There wasn't enough contrast. So I changed those two blues. And that was Ocean Boulevard. And I changed it to um, Rushing Rapids, but I put a little white in it to lighten it up so that's not quite the true color. And then the blue mist, I got rid of it and put uh, something borrowed, but I put a little white in it too so to lighten it up. So there you have it. 
this, this is changed just a little bit from that first picture that I showed you. But I like it a lot better now. I don't, I hope y'all do too. And that's one thing I want to say is just don't be afraid to change the colors. If you see something that's just jumping out at you and you don't think the tones go together and uh, the, the blending of the colors, something's just sticking out at you, don't be afraid to paint over it. Now, if you've already sealed it, that might be a different thing. You may have to sand it down, but I never, I never seal mine until I'm satisfied with them. And, you know, I don't, uh, I very rarely take custom orders. I do, but not, it's rare. I'd rather just paint them. So, with that said, I haven't promised this one to anybody, so if you guys are interested in it, just email me. Uh, my email is in the description of the video. So just email me and tell me you're interested and I'll give you the information on it. And let's see, today is February the 10th. So I'm hoping I can get this video edited and uploaded sometime today. If not, it'll be tomorrow. So with that, I say so long and happy painting and can't wait till I get to the next couple of videos. I said I was going to say goodbye, didn't I? But I'm going to say this one more thing. I have promised to show patterns of, let's see, it's a butterfly, a chicken, and a Carolina Lily. That's the three that's coming up next. And then after that, I bought a book that had those uh, Kansas City Star patterns in it. Y'all remember reading about that? The Kansas City Star, way back in the 1920s, used to put a pattern, a quilt pattern, in their paper, and I don't know how often, maybe once a month or something, but anyway, someone put together a sampling of that, and I bought that book. So I'm going to start painting some of those. Y'all remember that dahlia that I painted? That was from 19, I think it was 1936, Kansas City Star pattern that somebody had submitted, and I just... I love those old, old patterns like that. And some of them are just, some of them are just really going to be pretty. So I can't wait to show you all that. But I'll start doing that. And some of them springtime and summer and winter. So I'll still kind of stick with those themes. But uh, hopefully, if I can remember from now on, I'm going to, Unless it's a custom order that I'm painting, I'm going to just say, okay, this one's available. If you want it, you can reach out to me. So, okay, I'm going to say goodbye now and happy painting.